I have got an elephant in the Mara and I never thought that I would have an elephant. Oh, sorry, Darby. <laughs> my bad. So what happened there is I've got my earpiece back in because my comms are working and then I forgot to tell David that they were linking. <laughs> sorry, Darby. I got distracted by Maurice here. Maurice, safety first when you're in the Mara because you know that I can drive quite quickly sometimes. So safety belt. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to manhandle your trunk like that. <laughs> Be a bit more careful. You know how sensitive elephant's trunk is. Sorry, Maurice. Maurice has also got the lid of my flask as a chair so that he can sit up nicely. David, stop making me laugh. He's giggling away and now I'm starting to giggle too. Now I'm distracted, I don't know where I'm going. I'm actually gonna stop because I want to just show you the most beautiful scene. Look at all oh, the hot air balloons. <laughs> Look at those hot air balloons all in a row meandering down the river. And I'm sure they're seeing wonderful things from above. Now, Mita, my young friend who's only eight years old, was wondering if I got any sleep. Well, a little bit, Mita. So this probably explains my silliness today. But um, I'll be okay because I can go to bed after the safari ends this morning. But thank you very much. Mita, aren't you up quite late? Don't you have school in the morning? Now you're making me concerned. But I have got a surprise for you. I'm going to introduce Maurice to his family. So just hold on tight. There's a herd of elephants probably about 80 meters from here. So we'll quickly head on around and let's see if um, if this is Maurice's original family. Perhaps they're already communicating with one another through infrasounds. I'm not sure. They don't seem to be looking this way just yet. But we'll go around. We'll be there in about two seconds. Not really two seconds. Two shakes of a lamb's leg is what my dad always says when he's uncertain about the time frame. Oh, there's a tiny little elephant in that herd. What I will do is I'll stop here just so we can get a quick look and then we'll try and get around to them. Oh wow, that's amazing. You're going to have elephants and the hot air balloons. Now they're a little bit of a, a way away. That's not an elephant. Those are topi. <laughs> there they are. Just a small group of elephants and in between the two big ones in front you will see another pair of little legs and a little trunk and a little tail about the size of Maurice. It's a very young elephant sticking close to mom. Isn't that beautiful? Maurice, what do you have to say? It's very rude shouting like that. I suppose that Maurice was getting excited. Were you getting excited? I was going to try and make his legs move but that didn't work. <laughs> Isn't this cool? You might even be able to hear the shh of the hot air balloons as they sort of pump a little bit more air in them or let the flames out. I wonder if there are lions down that way because I did hear some roaring, so that's where we're heading. Look at that. Isn't that spectacular? I wonder if the elephants have a dream of going in a hot air balloon. They won't be able to, but Maurice might be able to go in a hot air balloon one day. Oh! So, Mita, I was obviously a bit worried about you being up so late and wondering if you had school in the morning, but apparently it's a public holiday. It's Labor Day. That makes all the sense then. Should we go and find the rest of the elephants? There's another herd and they're right up on the road in front of us. So it's actually not a small herd at all. Maybe a big group traveling together. But we are going to carry on heading away this side. Getting a little bit of drips on our head now. And we're going to sit with these elephants and say hello to them and spend a bit of time with them. We're going to go across to James now. He seems to have found some lions looking very regal.